Hello everyone, I want to talk about how to uh, work with a spirit, specifically a loa of the Vodau tradition, um, which is a deviation from the ancient African religion, which a lot of people think is uh, the worship of the Orishas. Uh, there's also Santeria, which is Cuban, and there's also Voodoo, which is uh, more United States based. Um, but I just want to give a few tactics on how to get closer to a spirit, a loa in uh, the Vodau tradition. I'll be talking about Ugu Ferai today. He's a warrior loa of the uh, Rada kind, and the Rada are the virtuous, uh, benevolent spirits, whereas the Petuo are the uh, malevolent, uh, fiery, uh, more negative spirits, harder to anger. Um, now the Rada are harder to get close to, but they're not as easy to anger, and once you get close to them, uh, the connections are more likely to last. So I'll show you what I have in my Ugu Ferlai shrine, uh, right here, and I'll kind of explain uh, the different things that I do to get close to Ugu Ferai. Okay, what we have here is uh, my basic Ugu Ferai shrine, and it's a part of my desk. And uh, basically, the reason I have that action figure, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's basically an idol now, but it's an action figure of an uh, Assassin's Creed character. You don't really need a specific kind of uh, idol in order to get close to the spirit, you just have to have a basic um, one that symbolizes something close to what you believe that spirit represents. And uh, Assassin's Creed, a uh, Haitian um, uh, assassin who fights on the side of good, is kind of what I chose. And uh, what else I have is the uh, Vive for Ugo Ferrai, which is uh, basically that design right there. That's one of the... Uh, variations of the Vive, which is a symbolic representation of the spirit or a, or a symbolic manifestation of the spirit in a, in a, the form of, you know, art or uh, specific uh, images that are basically very uh, angular, straight lines, not a, not a lot of human, but uh, it symbolizes the manifestation in a symbolic form. And uh, what else I have is basically Ugo Ferrai. He is associated with uh, a lot of machetes, knives, blades, things like that, because he's a warrior. So I have a knife right there. And then one of his favorite offerings is the uh, is the rum known as white rum, and it flammable white rum, overproof rum. And uh, right here is the bottle that I made for him to keep it in. Uh, this is basically a bottle I devoted to Ugo Ferrai. Uh, I designed it, made it, basically, and I keep his rum in here that is offering only to him. And uh, also, I have a, a maraca, basically, right here that has shells, and it's from Africa. And uh, that's to have a musical connection uh, in beats to Ugo Ferlai. And I might do something like this. Ugo Ferlai, Ugo Ferlai, Ugo Ferlai, Ugo Ferlai, Ugo Ferlai, Ugo Ferlai, Ugo, Ugo, Ferlai, Ferlai, Ferlai. And that's something that I do to devote myself to him. Uh, I have a book right here that's specifically for my intuition, uh, connecting to Ugo Ferlai, what he's teaching me. And that's just something you have to uh, kind of get used to, just using your intuition to get close to a spirit or a loa. And uh, most of the loa are also um, combined with saints, because um, in the times when it was illegal to uh, practice the African religion, uh, they would basically worship saints and associate them with Loa and uh, hide little messages uh, in the saints' images and worship the Loa through the saints' images and understandings and based on what the saint is and uh, their purpose and uh, the kind of person they were, that's the saint that would be associated with the specific Loa. In this case, it's uh, St. James, uh, kind of the crusader, the one that destroys the dragon. That was associated with Ugo Ferrai. And uh, that's why right here I have the uh, St. John's, the Baptist Holy Oil, because St. Jane and St. Saint jo Saint James and St. John are very similar uh, in their function. And uh, basically this is olive oil that has been uh, sanctified. Uh, and I might have another couple ingredients, but it's uh, it's for Ugo Ferrai. I use it for Ugo Ferrai, but Ugon is another name for Ugo Ferrai and other traditions. And uh, basically I anoint myself with this oil uh, on my forehead, and maybe draw uh, an arrow upward, which is similar to the V for Ugo Ferrai, just on my forehead. And I found that anointing myself actually gives me a real tangible connection to the spirit. 
Now, uh, another thing that Ugu Fela likes is Pompeii lotion, and that's that's a very Vodou specific thing. Pompeii lotion is a kind of uh, perfume or cologne that you kind of scatter around the shrine, just shake it, shake it, shake it around the shrine in order to uh, bring him closer to you, basically, because that's one of the things that Rana liked, the virtuous spirits, is Pompeii lotion. Uh, I don't know exactly why, but it seems to be what they enjoy. And now I have this bowl, of course, this bronze bowl, and uh, that's what I pour his offerings in, but I also pour offerings to others in this bowl. It's kind of like a multi-use bowl, but the, the rum is his, basically, but the bowl is kind of just what, it, what holds the rum. And uh, what I do is, this is kind of how it closes, this wine bottle. But what I do is, I say, Ugo Fela, I offer you this rum. Take this as an offering, uh, in honor and recognition of you, Ugo Fela. Then I light it. And this rum is basically an offering to Ugo Fela. And there's a couple of, there's, there's a, several items on here that is associated with Ugo Fela that I won't get into, but, uh, Sometimes I'll sprinkle cinnamon or chili powder in the rum as an extra hint. Uh, Ugofella seems to love rum and love spice. And uh, very spicy foods is what you can offer them. Spiced peppers, like drenched in Tabasco sauce, uh, cooked by you, of course, uh, and other things like that. Spicy foods. Now, um, I'm using this uh, Buddhist incense burner right here. And you know that's fine. I'm using it as an incense burner, but uh, and I'm giving him uh, dragon's blood, which is a combination of frankincense, clove, and uh, a couple other ingredients. But uh, incense is something that uh, Loa tend to like too. And uh, then I have a couple of prayer type sheets here, and uh, this is an African uh, slash French kind of prayer to Ugu Feli, uh, but it's more connected to Africa herself. Uh, I, I associate this with Ugo Feli, but it's kind of connected to Africa herself. Uh, la flic, la flic, maman, no. La flic, la flic, papa, no. La flic, le al kiwa. Africa, Africa is our mother. Africa, Africa is our father. Africa is, it's you who are king. That's one. And then another one I have here is a song for Ugu. I'm not going to say the whole thing, but uh, you kind of uh, sing that in rhythm. Ugu fe 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 la o, ugu fe 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 la o, saki fe yo buen, ba yo, la vie pa mwe, saki fe yo mala, lese san yo kale, ugu fe 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 la o. And it means, uh, these who, those who's done good to others, give them life for me. Those who's done bad to others, let their bloods run down. Ugu fe 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 la o. And then you kind of accumulate those. You can find them on the internet, you can find them in books, uh, and uh, I got two right now for Ugu Feliens and a description of uh, him on this page that I ripped out of a book. So I don't have a lot for him right now. Uh, I just started trying to find these pieces of literature. And uh, it's actually more difficult than you might think. And uh, finally, I'll just say that I use red candles and uh, red cloth because red and blue are kind of his colors. Uh, to kind of anoint his shrine. And uh, I use uh, St. Michael, the guardian angel candles to uh give a candle to him basically and that's one of the things i use for ugo Feli. and uh, finally i'll talk about the uh, cigars ugo Feli loves cigars dark thick and uh you can actually smoke the cigars and smoke them for ugo Feli and kind of keep them on his shrine he loves that and uh over time over time you'll get closer and closer to this spirit uh if you if you talk to him if you talk to the idol, if you talk to just Ugo Feli's spirit in general, uh, that Loa, um, you'll get a closer connection to him. And you'll find that you know certain things through intuition about what it is to be a warrior or how you should approach certain problems through strength uh, by getting close to Ugo Feli um, in his, in his Loa uh, Rada uh, form. And um, it takes time to get close to any spirits, uh, Loa included. And they, but the difference between other spirits and the Loa, the difference between like whites in the Nordic tradition and Loa, is that the Loa actually accept material and enjoy material as offerings. And they'll give you material things that are very substance oriented as a result. For instance, I'm, this may not seem very material, but I'm not afraid 
uh, as, of as many things in this world as I was. But that's very much relation to material, so I consider that a materialistic gain. Um, I'm not as unsure in my decisions uh, now that I've been getting closer to Ugu Ferai, and I feel protected now that I've gotten close to Ugu Ferai. So those are some of the products of uh, getting close to him. And this is, all these tactics can be altered. You don't have to purely uh, use these kinds of offerings or these kinds of colors to get too close to Ugu Ferai. Uh, Ugu Ferai can relate to everyone in different ways, and you just have to do what feels right to you. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about how to get close to uh, Loa, and I used Ugu Ferai as an example. And, uh, you know, his offering burns right now as we speak. And um, I would highly recommend trying to get close to these spirits because they are very interesting to work with and uh, they can give you a lot. And uh, they can make you feel protected and strong. Uh, and Baron Samedi is more connected with healing and love and uh, even and even death. Uh, but love and healing are very much connected to death, kind of the opposite. So he controls that. But there, every Loa has their own domain. Every spirit has their own domain and you have to basically work with them depending on what you want. I wanted to be more like a warrior uh, in, in, within myself uh, and not be afraid and be, feel strong and be able to go into the world with uh, confidence. And uh, I've been working with Ugo Fairlie and it's worked. Uh, so I highly recommend looking more into this, uh, look into Vote Out. There's all kinds of books. Uh, one book I would recommend is by um, Kenaz Filan and it's the, uh, the Haitian Vote Out Handbook. And I would highly recommend that if you're interested in uh, the vote out tradition, which is Haitian. And uh, just uh, feel free to ask me anything. And if you like this at all, press that like button. If you want to subscribe for more stuff like this, subscribe. And uh, I'll be here. Thank you very much for watching.